Hey, what's up everybody? So welcome back to another episode of Tip Thursday with me, Connor Klein, the language czar and pure VPN. Go check out their link in the description for virtual private networks. And in this episode, I'm speaking to you from Brest in Belarus. I'm just here for a few days on the visa free and that is the topic of this video. A lot of you have been asking me about the visa free regimes in this region. So that's going to be Russia, Belarus, Ukraine and Moldova. So let's get into today's video. So today I'm speaking to you from the very appropriately named Sovietska street here in the center of Brest. Belarus which is on the border with Poland and I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of the visa free regimes in this region. Now I looked at my YouTube analytics to see where uh, most of you actually are from where you're residing and I saw that most of you are from North America and Europe so in this video I'm going to deal primarily with people who hold those passports and so if you come from another country that has a different regime so you should go and look that up yourselves you probably don't need as much at times so just bear that in mind for the information in this video the first country i'm going to start with is ukraine and they have a very similar regime to actually identical basically regime to that of moldova which is that you can travel uh, with your passport visa free for 90 days every 180 so that's in effect three months every six months so you don't have to do anything in advance you just show up with your passport as long as you don't exceed those limits at that limit in terms of days so that's 90 when every 180 uh, you're fine you can travel around wherever you want in the country uh, no restrictions there nothing unusual so that's pretty good those two countries out of the four of them are by far the the best if you have a European passport or a North American passport like Canadian or American now the country that I'm in right now which is Belarus they have a more restricted regime but they have been opening things up recently in the last two years and they have made it easier uh, for you to come if you hold a European or North American passport so how it works is that you will have visa free if you fly into Minsk airport that's the capital the national airport and you can travel anywhere in Belarus for up to five days visa free uh, you don't have to do much more than just show up with your passport. You do have to have insurance that is valid in the Republic of Belarus. And in reality, that just means that you buy it at the airport. I paid six euros. So that's probably around seven, eight US dollars uh, for the insurance in the airport. It was really smooth. I went straight to the counter. It was on the left when I uh, arrived in the airport just before I went through passport control and there I bought the insurance for the five days visa free now remember it's five days that includes the day that you arrive and the day you leave so in effect it's four nights that you get visa free in Belarus if you fly into Minsk National Airport now the other ways to come to Belarus visa free are to come to two uh, regions on the border with Poland now I'm here in one of them which is the Brest region so I'm in the town of Brest and we're right on the border in fact uh, the town is basically the border town and you can come here also for well actually you can come for technically 10 days visa free uh, to Brest but you cannot leave the designated area around Brest itself so you cannot go to Minsk you cannot go to any other part of Belarus now in reality if you come for more than five days then you need to register with the police. It's not as simple as flying into Minsk National Airport where you just show up with your passport and you buy an insurance. You actually have to arrange some documents in advance to come here to Brest. And the reality is that I could only find one operator uh, online who did it at least simply had an easy website to use and they limited it to five days. So even though the law says 10 days, in reality, I could only get five days visa free and I had to buy a tour and included a uh, taxi ride in that. So that was uh, a little bit more expensive. So in addition to the insurance, I actually had to buy the stopping for red light because in Belarus you can't jaywalk. Uh, there are fines and strictly enforced. <laughs> um, so yeah, I had to buy, uh, in addition to the insurance, I had to, have to buy some tours and I got a taxi voucher included in that. So the whole thing came to 60 Polish sloty. I paid it in sloty. So that's approximately 15 euros and that works out, I guess, around 
just a little bit under 20 US dollars. They then sent me the documents pretty quickly. I think I had all the documents within an hour or so, and then I had to present them to the border guards. They, I did fill out an immigration card. That I'm supposed to keep half of it until I leave. Uh, but the second time I actually came on this visa-free regime to Brest, they did not give me the immigration card back there's a second they said I don't need it so that will be interesting for me to conclude with <laughs> when I leave here and figure out if that is actually the case and if I can uh, I, yeah exit without a fine or any problems uh, but they told me with the five day visa free uh, regime uh, that I was saying just for five days and that I didn't need to present that immigration card that slip that you fill in on the exit so as I said you're limited to the breast region now the third option third way to come visa free to Belarus is to go to Grodno which is a border town uh, close to Lithuania and to Poland on the border and that's pretty similar to here technically it's 10 days uh, if you stay more than five days you gotta register with the police and when I went there I registered I bought a ticket I got a tour and I got similar documents sent to me so that's all pretty pretty standard uh, in terms of it's consistent basically it's the same as here in Brest so there are the three ways to come to Belarus visa free now the big country Russia mother Russia so that is by far the most limited in terms of visa free if you are a European or North American passport holder and that basically only has one option normally to go visa free and that's via a ferry a passenger ferry uh, at certain ports for example like Kaliningrad uh, St. Petersburg or Vladivostok you can go for up to 72 hours visa free um, but you are very limited you have to stay in accommodation approved by a, a tour agent and you can only stay for up to 72 hours and you have to arrive by ferry so obviously you cannot fly into into Russia now there will be a derogation to that of course for the uh, football or soccer World Cup coming up here in 2018 so for a limited period about six weeks uh, around the time of the tournament if you have a fan ID I owe so you bought a ticket to some of the games you had all that approved then you can actually go and visit Russia visa free for the duration of the tournament and uh, that's just with your fan ID and your passport so that's gonna make it a lot easier so people do not need to get a visa if they want to visit Russia for the Football World Cup two other tips I want to give you about visa free uh, with respect to Russia are um, firstly if you fly to Minsk here in Belarus and you think okay I'm gonna arrive by plane and that plane is not direct and it goes via an airport in Russia uh, you need to be aware of that you will need to change terminal and or at least change well you have to change planes of course in Moscow and they will make you change terminal from the international terminal to domestic so Russia and Belarus have an agreement uh, that it basically counts as a domestic flight and that means you got to change um, you got to enter Russia basically if you fly to Moscow with the intention of coming here on the visa free and you will not be allowed into Russia if you do not have a visa and that means that like what happened to my friend Andy who's been in some of these videos that he flew I uh, think he was going to be just have to change plane in the international terminal uh, in Moscow and he would not need a visa because for transits it's fine he was told when he arrived in Moscow airport that he needed a Russian visa in order to catch his flight to uh, Minsk and they refused him entry and he actually had to get back on a plane and leave uh, Moscow and not go to Minsk the next day he had to fly there so that was really a pain in the ass can we say so just be aware of that the second tip I want to give you about Russia is since Russia annexed Crimea uh, that can cause some problems if you go there and afterwards you want to enter Ukraine uh, technically uh, Ukraine views it as uh, de jure which means legally their territory and that you would have illegally entered uh, Crimea if you went um, from Russia the rest of Russia uh, because Russia uh, de facto controls Crimea at the moment and they could say that you enter the country illegally and cause problems I've never heard of anyone actually having that problem but that could be an issue so just be aware of it if you go to Crimea uh, first of all you need to get a Russian visa because the Russians say that it's their territory legally uh, that's of course in dispute <laughs> uh, it's actually I would say de jure Ukraine but that's just kind of not worth getting into an argument about for the purpose of this video and 
yeah, so just be aware of that, that that can cause, might cause problems with Ukraine sometime in the future. The fact that you went to Crimea via the rest of Russia uh, or via Russia and um, something that's up to you. I can't really advise on it. I haven't had any personal experience. I haven't been back to Crimea since it was annexed by Russia. So that's my overview of traveling visa free in this region. I'm here in Brest in Belarus. So that's giving you an overview if you have a North American and European passport and you want to travel to say Russia, Belarus, Ukraine and Moldova. There you go. That's what you need to know. Write me in the comment section below uh, what you think uh, if you've actually traveled here, if you've had any additional problems, maybe your passport was better or less favorable in terms of visa-free options to travel around this region. Let me know about your experiences. And yeah, I will see you in the next video, the next Tip Thursday next week. I hope you found this video very valuable. Uh, at least it's a good overview if you're coming here. And Disvedania from Brest, Belarus.